We'll talk for a minute about MAO inhibitors. Uh, you know from reading the book about the drug-drug interactions and the drug-food interactions. And in the back of your book, there's an MAO no-no list. And it's the most common things that you need to avoid. And probably the one that, that is overlooked the most is when uh, people go and get a filling uh, or other dental work and they give an injection of Novocaine or another local anesthetic, a lot of these have epinephrine in, mixed in with it. So it works faster and that actually can cause high blood pressure and potentially kill somebody who's on MAO inhibitor. So people have got to really be careful uh, about not eating certain foods and not taking certain medications. Now, here's the story on this, okay? These drugs uh, are, you, if you look at all antidepressant prescriptions in the United States, they account for one half of one percent of all antidepressants. One half of one percent, which means it's not it's hardly being used at all. But everybody who knows what they're talking about is going to say the same thing. If nothing else works, oftentimes this will. And, and MAO inhibitors are the true broad spectrum antidepressants. They increase dopamine, serotonin, and norepinephrine. And I've had a handful of patients, maybe four or five, where nothing worked until they gave me a male inhibitor. So just keep it in mind for those people that are highly treatment resistant. Now, this is uh, MSAM, and it's a, a, a transdermal patch, okay, you know, like the nicotine patch. And the thing is, you've got to put it on each day and then, you know, put it on the next day and that sort of thing. It's kind of expensive. Uh, the, the advantage is if you if a person takes this and uh, they benefit, they get symptomatic improvement on six milligrams, they can eat any kind of food they want. There's no food drug interaction. They still have to watch the, the medications they take because they can, you know, it's like you take a Sudafed, you're on MAO inhibitor, it can give you a brain hemorrhage. Mm -hmm. so, uh, so, so that's one advantage. Uh, but the main reason I wanted to show you is I don't think this is being used really that much, but um, the thing that's kind of cute about this is the, the lead researcher in developing this, this particular uh, formulation that you can use as a patch that uh, gets the, you know, oftentimes the lead researcher gets to name the drug, the brand name, and so this guy's uh, grandchildren were named Emily and Sam. Oh, that is cute, right? <laughs>